Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. My name is Jeremy, and I want to say thanks for tuning in to the Crew First Culture podcast. This is Monday, so this will be a Monday mindset check episode. I try to keep them pretty short. Honestly, when I get into this topic, I, I don't know how exactly short it'll be, but it, I'll try to keep it as short as I can. But uh, before I get into that, I had taken the last couple shifts off, so I've had eight days off from work. I am about to go back into the station here in a little bit, sitting here a little bit before I go back on shift for the first time, and just enjoyed a, a great week. Had a wedding reception for my daughter at our shop, at her house, and so took a while to kind of get that prepped prepped up and and looking nice for they were they wanted a masquerade ball so of course there's a lot of preparation put into turning a a normal shop into a uh, masquerade ball scene so put a lot of work into that all the family did and just it really turned out great they had a great time enjoyed a lot of family time over the last eight days I also had a Awesome, an op awesome opportunity to go to our local Fools Conference. They set up a two-day conference. We had some amazing, amazing speakers on Friday. I will get more into that. And on Saturday, I was lucky enough to be asked to be a part of the, uh, the group putting on the training, the hot training, and got to talk to some people about some forceful entry, try to do my best to give a little bit of a, a foundation of, of knowledge to, to some, some people during that. And that was my first kind of really, really anything that I've done instructing. So super nervous. Uh, I know I didn't do an amazing job, but you know, I, I, I look forward to, polishing that up and, and getting better at that but met a lot of a lot of good people that you know again I wouldn't have had the chance to meet if, if it wasn't for you know fools or social media or you know things like that things that have really I'll just say is things that have been a blessing to my life not just my fire service career but my life because I just when I get better in my career, when I get better at my position, when I get better in my role as a firefighter, I also feel like it helps me get better at home. And so, again, that's kind of where we're headed in the topic for today. So I just wanted to kind of give a little recap of what's happening. I've got a amazing guest coming up this Thursday super fun conversation that that we had a couple weeks ago recorded it and it will be actually the 50th episode which is crazy to me I, I can't I can't really imagine I, I didn't think that it would ever make it that far and so wanted to have somebody on that that kind of helped kind of guide me in this direction and and, and so look for that it, it, it's a good one don't want to miss it but that'll be coming out on thursday so anyway back to today and man i'm, t I'm telling you right now i i needed this week i needed this last weekend a lot and and i think i've grown a lot i think i've learned a lot just in this last week you know last eight days since i've been on shift and so that's what we're going to be talking about today and and i want to just go ahead and title, title the whole episode of just it's time to step up and i know i've had a few kind of episodes like this and i know i've had a few growth spurts like this and i feel like you know i I continue to see where I want to be. I continue to see where I want my station, my crew to be. But 
I have learned over the last week, maybe, maybe two, maybe a little bit more, but, but definitely in the past week, week and a half or so, I have seen that wanting something, knowing how I want it, knowing where I want to be, all of those things, they mean nothing if I don't do something about it. And that's the problem. That's, that's the problem that I will be dealing with. That's the problem I have been dealing with this past week at home, but it's also a problem I will be dealing with at work starting today is I, I, I have this vision of my crew. I have this vision of my station, of what it looks like, what the culture looks like, what I want it to be run like, what I want the atmosphere to be like. And it's great. And, and that's, I want that so bad. And I, and I've known that for a while, you know, maybe there's been a a few tweaks here and there, but, but I've known this great grand picture of everything for a while. And every once in a while I'll get fired up or I'll get kind of tired of things not being there and I'll, I'll step up a little bit and I'll say, you know, this is what, this is what I want things to be like and, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we, we've kind of went through this cycle a couple of times, but I now see that even though I wanted those things, even though that was the vision I had, and that was the culture I wanted so badly, I did not put the work in. I, I wanted these things, but I also wanted somebody else to do them for me. I I wanted my guys to step up and I wanted them to be the backbone of the movement. I wanted them to be the pushers of this whole thing. And, and I don't think, I don't think it was a conscious thing. I, I think looking at it right now, I mean, I obviously didn't just put it all on them and expect them to do everything, not consciously, but subconsciously, that is exactly what I did. And so obviously when you have plans like this, when you have a vision like this, when you have wants and needs that aren't necessarily the same as others, but you put that on others to accomplish you're not going to have very good results because that's not their vision. You know, it, it, they aren't the leader of that crew. They aren't the officer. They aren't the person responsible for truly making those changes. So they aren't going to have the same drive as, as I am. And so that's, that's just, that's human nature. That's, that's understandable. I, I, I have no bad feelings for any of that. The only bad feelings I have are for myself because, and I, I really didn't see this till, you know, this last week, but I can't expect a culture to change if I am not willing to put that effort in. And I knew that I've, I've talked about that over and over again, but I don't think it truly clicked with me that I'm not doing that work. I feel like I was, but I wasn't, you know, I, I, we created this training schedule, uh, you know, of, of something to kind of a guideline every day, you know, you got Mondays or Mayday Mondays and and you have some type of self rescue, uh, firefighter survival, mental toughness, things like that. Tuesdays are ladders. We're doing something with ladders, learning about ladders, whatever. Wednesdays are wet Wednesdays. We, we do something with hose. We you know, work on our, our hose advancement, you know, whatever it is. And thir- so every day has its little topic. So this is something we created to kind of help us out because we were in a, a lull, a, a kind of a, a slump because it was just hard to figure out what you wanted to do every day. And, and it seemed like it was only one or two people that were kind of pushing that. And, and you just you run out of ideas and it, it just beats you down a little bit. So putting that in place was a great tool. It, it, it is a great tool. And if, if you haven't seen that, 
please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to send that to anybody that wants to see it just to, to get an idea of what we do and, and maybe you can tailor it to what will work for you. But okay, that, that was great. And, and I really have enjoyed having that. It has helped a lot, but I still wasn't taking total control of making sure it was happening. You know, we, we have something on there every day, even weekends, you know, the weekends, I don't expect a ton, you know, I've told them, you know, if it's a 30 minute podcast that we sit and listen to a 45 minute, just going out and flowing some water, I just getting out there, learning something, growing, doing something, something that makes me feel like we did good that day that's that's all i ask and so like i said it, it's got something for every day but the weekends here the past month or so we, we've not really done anything you know i i've gotten out and done some stuff by myself because i felt like okay well i'm still gonna do it and i've talked about that as well you know i'm not gonna let the the inability for others to buy in or the the inability for other of others to you know be passionate about this to affect me to to take that from me but they're like everything i talk about there is a huge balance there and by doing that you hope to bring others along or you hope to pique others interest or or you know, whatever so that they will join you but as the leader of my crew, I need to be putting more into it. You know, like I talked about, something that, that gets frustrating is that you don't get a lot of information on, hey, what do you want to do today? What do you want to train on today? What is there is there anything that you would like to work on? You just don't get anything back. And so that has kind of it's kind of worn me down and, and just made me want to do my own thing sometimes. And that's really the biggest area that I'm talking about right now as to where I have got to put the work in. So if it's me every single day coming up with what we're going to do, then that's what it needs to be. If I truly want this to be the culture of my crew, then I have to be okay with putting that work in. And, and before I go any further, please don't take that as me saying I am the only one doing anything because I promise you that's not the case. You know, I, I've got a driver that I've talked about a lot. Just a man has, he has helped me so much to be where I'm at, to be passionate, to be into training and to, to grow and learn. And I have, I've gotten way, way more out of him probably than, than I'm giving sometimes. And so I don't want that to, I don't want this conversation to sound like it's a, you know, all me thing. And I know that's kind of where I'm headed, but kind of why I'm saying the, it this way is that I have to be the one to push it. And of course there is the side of, you know, I've been gone a week before that he was gone a couple shifts. So it, it, it's, it, it was a hard kind of couple weeks there for a little bit, just because things were off. I'll just say, I'll just, I'll just say that. And, you know, we, we've gotten some buy-in. You know, I've got some great firefighters. I'm I'm not downing them at all. I I've got some firefighters that are that are more than willing to get out and do whatever it is that we're doing, and and that's great. You know, I I am blessed with that. I I am happy to have that because a lot of people don't, and I understand that. And so the kind of the problem and and the area of growth that I have got to cross over is that, like I said, I was just, I was just wanting them 
to buy into it and to to feed it and to you know add their parts of the the equation and and to help and and all this and and if that happens someday that's great but i can't rely on that that cannot be the factor that determines if my culture is going where I want it to be or it's not. I cannot allow, hopefully somebody else will join in to be the factor. I have got to be that factor. I've got to be the driver. I've got to be the reason that it succeeds. And so that's kind of where I'm going. Again, I I don't want to make it sound like I am the only person at my station doing anything because I'm not. If that's if that's what it sounds like, I apologize for that. And it's totally not the truth. I just am making the point of saying I have to be the one. And so like everything I talk about, especially on Mondays, you know, I, I, I like to, to bring it back home as well. And so, like I said earlier, you know, this, this really it's, I mean, you, you change the words around, you change a little bit to to suit home life but i'm really dealing with the same thing at home as well and at home it's i'm i'm not stepping up to be the parent that i'm that i need to be i have relied on my wife way too much to be the parent i have relied on her way too much to enforce the rules and then the boundaries and, and sh- this is nothing new. This, this is something that we have been working through for years. So, you know, but just like I said about work, you know, uh, yeah, we've talked about it a lot. She has begged me to step up more and, and I continue to fail over the years and, but things start to click in different ways at different times. And I feel like I finally kind of realized with the situation that came up over, over the last week that, okay, I, I see what she's saying. I see now where I need to step up as a dad. And so uh, as much as I hated to do it because I, not that I am the fun dad. I, I will never claim to be that, but I am definitely one that does not enjoy the consequences, uh, discipline, all that type of thing of parenting. Obviously, I know that it's necessary and that you have to do it. But again, I don't enjoy it. And so probably more subconsciously than, than not just like the, the other area, but I have relied on my wife and, and relied is probably not even the right term. Uh, pushed it on her is, is probably a better way to, to say it, just leaving it up to her and, and our situation, you know, we are a blended family. Now we don't talk about my kids, your kids. It's always our kids. But to make matters even worse, these are are not even her biological kids that that I am basically leaving her responsible for. And no, that doesn't have any bearing on, on why she needed me to step up more. She, she has done a great job. She's done a way better job than I have with this whole, you know, step parenting role. But it just tells you there that much more that, you know, I have to step up at home. I have to be a better dad. I have to be a better spouse. And so, you know, I did something uh, this week that I, I honestly don't know that I've, I've ever done. I, and I hated every second of it. You know, we, we have had some issues with one of our kids and it just keeps going and, and keeps going. And, and 
there are a lot of character habit type things going on that we know we have to fix while they are young we have got to get these things straightened out so that when they grow up they aren't still there we're, we're trying to work these things out i mean things things that aren't acceptable just just straight line that's not okay we're not talking about making a mess and leaving it we're talking about big things that have to be fixed and we're both you know my wife and i just really hitting a wall we we feel like we have tried everything to to get this kid to change and it's just not working and with a conversation of with my wife you know after yet another circumstance that came up and and happened in the same kind of area that we're trying to to work out she basically told me that you know i need to step up i need to be the parental figure that this kid needs they need that more than anything and you know when you hit a wall like this if, if you have kids or, or whatever situation you're looking at and you just don't know what the heck to do you feel like you've done everything and then something is said or something is brought up or or just something comes to mind and you're like yeah you're right you know that that is one thing that is not present maybe that's exactly what is needed and so uh yeah so that really kind of came to light and it it made me realize that i have got to be a tough dad sometimes i have got to be the person that my kids don't like to be around sometimes and i hate that because i want so badly to have good relationships with my kids i want so badly to to just enjoy as many moments as I can with them. And so that's kind of part of why I've shied away from this stuff. But that has been a bad, bad choice. That, that is, you know, there have been consequences that we have had to deal with because of my lack of stepping up in that role. And so, again, that it really kind of, finally clicked with me of saying you're absolutely right i have not done what i should be doing i have not stepped up in that role like i should and i need to and i will right now and that's that's what i did and and i hated every second of it absolutely hated it and you know i do i feel like that's going to ruin our relationship uh, no absolutely not do i feel like that you know there's going to be some type of permanent something going on with that no i don't it, I, I i don't and i don't really know why i've shied away from it so badly other than i hate it obviously but it's got to be done just like the culture change at work if i want better results then I have got to put in better effort if I want my kids to do things that they should be doing and to not do things that they shouldn't be doing then I have got to be the one to hold them accountable for those things and so that's kind of where I'm at I, I feel like I, I've kind of covered it pretty much uh, uh, everything that I had you know like I said I I sat there Friday and, and first off, I, I want to sh share my appreciation for my wife and my family. You know, it was fall break. I could have enjoyed time with my, my family and I feel bad for missing that time, but I, I'm very thankful to them for being okay with me spending those two days away because again, that, it's helped me so much in the realm of my career, but I hope that they can see that I bring this home. You know, I, I want to make 
my home life a mirror of the growth and the learning and the changes that I'm making at, at work. And so just like the podcast, just like, you know, everything I'm doing, I, I feel like I have reaped benefits at home as well. And so, like I said, I, you know, I was sitting there Friday, had the really, really good opportunity to sit and, and listen to Chief Isaacson in person for the first time. It's, man, you, you can't get any more passionate than, than that guy. Uh, after that, we had Brian Brush. Uh, we had a, I believe he was a lieutenant with Oklahoma City, uh, Sitton. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Lieutenant Sitton did a great job. We had Chief Corley Moore from Moore and Chief Mike Walker from Oklahoma City. You know, all those, all those guys just, it was just a great day. You know, everybody that was up there had something they were saying that it felt like they were talking right to me. And it, it all just led to this conversation that I'm having right now with myself for everybody out there listening that <clears throat> it's time to step up. It's time, you know, I, I don't, <laughs> I, I am struggling right now in some areas at my current department. I just, there's just a lot of things right now that I am struggling with. I'll just leave it as generic as I can right there. And to be honest, they didn't want us there. They didn't want us to be at that conference to listen to those people. And I don't understand it. I don't get it. I learned so much in that day. And even the next day of, of doing the, the hands-on training. That was my first attempt at kind of being an instructor of something. And like I said, and I didn't tell anybody, but I told my wife the other day, but nobody else, but I was literally sick to my stomach Saturday morning and it was just nerves. You know, I, I wanted to do a good job. I wanted to be able to help people who travel. I mean, we had people from Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, not Kansas, sorry, Arkansas and Missouri, people that traveled hours and hours to be there. And I, I wanted to make that a trip that was worth their time to, to at least do my part of it. And so I was super nervous. I, I felt like I had a lot of responsibility and I did, but I just, I don't understand the mindset that you would want to limit somebody from having that experience. I don't understand it. And, and like I said, I'm, I'm not going to get into that right now. If, if I did, there's no telling what kind of a hole I would dig for myself. You know, these are, these are things that need to be dealt with and battles that need to be fought behind the scenes. But I, I just, I guess I bring that up to say, if, if you have the chance to do any, you know, this was just a small local fools conference. This wasn't a gigantic conference that, you know, national recognition, anything like that. It, but it was awesome. Oh, I, I appreciate so much all the people that, that put in a lot of work to get it set up to do everything that that's necessary to get something like that accomplished. I, man, I, I just, I can't thank them enough. And, and to be able to sit there and, and listen to those stories, listen to those presenters, those instructors, those, those teachers share their passion, share their knowledge, share the, the drive to keep going, you know, something that, that probably moved me more than anything the whole day was one of them who was in a role of a, a chief's position at the end of, of his presentation, he was pointing out people in his organization, people I, I believe who were, were on his shift, you know, got his, his people and telling them to keep going, telling them to keep pushing, 
telling them to not listen to to those that want to tear them down. And he was getting emotional about it. And I'm like, that, man, that just hit me. That hit me so hard that here is a person that has been in the service a long time, long enough for, you know, long enough that, that most people, their length of time are, are burned out are just really kind of short timing it, looking for the end. And, and he, he was so passionate about wanting to do the right thing, wanting to do good things, wanting his people to keep doing what they're doing, that he was getting emotional about it. And that just, it, it, it just kind of, it threw me in a loop and, and honestly it made me angry because that's who I want to work for. I want to work for somebody that, yeah, they're, they're, they care about me and they, they want to know about my family and, and, and all that. That's, that's awesome. That's a piece of it. But I also want to work for somebody that cares about where I'm at in my role of, of whatever that is in the fire service. You know, am I getting better? Am I pushing others to get better? Am I doing something to help the fire service get better? Am I sharing a message that I have inside? Am I up against people that are trying to break me down? D do I have their back? You know, that's the kind of person I want so badly to be under, to work for. I just that that's it. You know, I, I don't, I don't think it's that hard to, to really get there. I just, you know, and, and again, I think another good thing about that is that I can sit there and I can look at that and say, man, that is who I want to work for. And I can flip it instantly and say, that's probably then what I need to be for the people that are working for me. That's what I need to be. That's the person I need to be for those that I am responsible for. And so again, there, there's just so many good things you can pull from these conferences or, or these lectures or, you know, YouTube videos or podcasts of, of these, these people that have great, great messages or passionate about the fire service there's just so many things you can pull from it. And I hope that, I hope that everybody out there really starts to reach out for these opportunities. And, and if you're getting a wall from your, your department, if, if, you, if they look down on this stuff, if they try to keep you from doing it, then it's well worth the money out of your own pocket to do it yourself, do it behind the scenes, just do what you need to do to keep your passion up, keep going, keep the drive, keep doing good things. And so you know, that's, that's probably where I need to end it. I'm going to get myself in trouble if I don't, don't kind of cut it off right here. I, I don't want to really, you know, get any deeper into it. I just want to, to really speak the message of its time. It's time to do it. And that's, you know, one of the really uh, kind of the theme of, of several of the presenters on Friday. And, and like I said, that's where this came from is, and, and it's time. It, if you have a vision of something that you want done, if you have a vision of, of what you want your station to look like, what you want your home to look like, what you want to be as a parent, who you want to be as an officer, who you want to be as a firefighter, whatever it is, whatever rank you are, whatever position you are, whatever you are at home, you can't expect it to get done unless you are willing to do the work, to put in the effort, to get dirty, to be the reason that it happens. And that's, that is where I will be right now. That is, that is the focus that I will have. 
at home and at work. And, and I am willing and I am ready to put that work in. And I'm not saying I won't fall again. I won't, I'm not saying that I will remain fired up to this point every day for the rest of my career. I'm not saying that, but I know where I need to be and I know what it's going to take and I'm ready to start that work. And so I hope that, hope that something I said kind of gets you, gets you thinking. I, I really hope that it fires you up. You know, I'm not going to be, <laughs> I'm not, I don't have an ego big enough to say that, that I am an inspiring person, but I hope beyond hope that, that something I say kind of puts some fire in you, uh, just, just gives you the, gives you the, the drive to, to keep going or, or start or where, wherever you are in your journey, because you know, it doesn't matter what you did with yesterday. It doesn't matter what you did with the past five years, 10 years. What matters is what you're going to do with today. And so that's where we need to be. What can we do today? I don't care if I've been a lazy firefighter for 15 years. Today, I am somebody that's going to make the fire service better. I am somebody that is going to start learning things so that I can start teaching others. I am somebody that is going to make my crew a better place to be. And so I hope you have a great week, everybody. I hope you can tell I'm fired up. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm just excited to get going. I'm excited to see where things go. You know, I, I, I love the fire service. I love my family and I want to be better at every possible, in every possible way I can. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a great week. Please be looking for episode on Thursday. You'll definitely, it'll be worth your time. So have a great week until then I will say stay safe and take care of each other.